coffee break. This must be our seventh, we figured. Mm -hmm. And instead of taking a break this week, we decided to play more Norwegian music. And we started with some older music. And uh, this is music that Elizabeth and our friend Hans Olaf have played together for quite a while. And these are melodies that come from uh, notebooks from fiddle players from the 17 and early 1800s. And um, so Alex's and my instruments are way too new for this, but we use them <laughs> anyway. So this was a Halling in these manuscripts and these notebooks there are just gazillions of minuets but every now and then you find pieces from uh, that belong to folk dances and this was a halling and we're going to continue with a uh, saras which is from poland i guess it's the, a the sort, term. sort of a Pol polish dance in yeah. post dance in some some variant uh, yeah some family and uh, there are a lot of Polish dances, Polsk, Pols, uh, Pols dance all over eastern and northern Norway. And we have uh, moved this one a little bit to the Swedish border and play it almost like a Finskogs Pols, Pols from the Finnish woods. Thank you. 
going to go back to the repertoire we played last week, and that is from uh, Salve aus No of Tovdal, and we're going to begin with dancing for you, and we're going to dance to a tune we played last week. is a Rhinelander. Thank you. 
nonsense, as we say. Yeah. I just say a word about the Harding Fela. Um, I played last week and this week. This is a traditional Norwegian uh, violin, folk violin. It's a little different from a so-called normal violin because we have resonance strings going underneath the fingerboard. I'm not sure you can see that, but they go under the fingerboard and through extra holes in the bridge and they just ring sympathetically when we play. So they're tuned underneath. And you can also see it's very richly decorated. Mm. There's all kinds of things around here and on the fingerboard. Yeah, yeah. So it looks beautiful. Very beautiful. And the top is more arched than on a yeah. standard violin. Mm. You have to say nothing of the scroll, which mm. really is a very nice carving of a, a lady's head. So we are going to actually, we've barely started, but we're going to conclude with... Uh, no, we're not concluding yet. No. But we have <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we're going to play a waltz yeah. and a shardish, both from Salve Östno. And the first one is called Onis Melans Waltz, which is um, named after a fiddle player who lived around 1900. And he might have composed this, but he also might just have made it more known. Hmm.
to conclude with another shortish. And this one is called Rheindener Hennar Valborg. And Valborg was a great aunt of Salve, I think. Mm. And she was married to a fiddle player. And calling it her Rheinender probably means that she liked it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> she yeah. loved dancing to it. Oh. So, and then uh, that's about all we have this week. So, thanks for joining us again. And uh, I need to move my cable. And then we'll... And you're going to do something next week too, right? Yes. Yes. Something completely different. Something <laughs> completely different. After two weeks of Norwegian music, mm -hmm. we're going to go back to playing old time music. And next week it will be the two of us and a good friend who plays the harmonica. Reinene Hennar Waldorf.